Hello, hello everybody, this is TiptopMTG here today with another Magic the Gathering video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a really fun infinite combo within Standard that lets you take infinite turns. Now, my last infinite combo video was also about how to take infinite turns, however, this time we're doing it in a similar but different way. So, instead of actually taking, you know, take an extra turn and then like copying that infinitely or whatever, instead what we're doing is we are going to infinitely end our opponent's turn using the card discontinuity. Now, generally, you know, when I first saw this card, I was like, wow, this is really good. It's really easy to loop. But when you look at it in its reminder text, it exiles itself. So that's something we have to get around. So this is a mono blue four card combo that makes you essentially take infinite turns. So how it works, ready? On your opponent's turn, you're going to cast discontinuity, which costs six mana. Then, for 2 mana, you're going to Narset's Reversal your own spell, which will make a copy of Discontinuity and bounce it back to your hand. So at this point, Narset's Reversal is in the graveyard, you have a copy of Discontinuity on the stack and the original Discontinuity in its hand, in your hand. Then, it ends the turn and the copy of Discontinuity gets exiled. Then you come back to your turn, and you have this card called Shipwreck Do Dozer uh, and Thassa, which Shipwreck Dozer, when it enters the battlefield, it will return an instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand, and Thassa will let you flicker that at each of your end steps. So essentially, whenever you're taking the extra turn using Narset's Reversal and Discontinuity, you are only putting one instant in the graveyard, that being Narset's Reversal. So then by using Thassa and Shipwreck Dozer or Scholar of the Ages, which is a more expensive version of it, uh, you can get back that Narset's Reversal and then keep doing that over and over again. So all you really need is 8 mana. Like, that's how much mana you need. You need enough to cast Discontinu Discontinuity and Narset's Reversal. And then any extra mana on top of that you can cast things with. Now, taking extra turns isn't always an instant win. Now, generally it is. You know, if you can take infinite turns, your opponent, if they have m less cards in their library than you, they are going to lose. But in MTG Arena, you would have to play that out. So there are different ways to win, one of which being to kill them with creatures. If you have Thassa out and extra mana, you can tap down all their creatures. They do get to untap. So, you know, that is you know, that one issue. You do have to let them untap every single turn. But maybe you can get through and swing. Even if it's just one damage a turn, it makes it much quicker. However, how I do it in this deck is I play Jace and Thassa's Oracle, which both encourage me to self-mill, and Jace allows me to mill my opponent too if that's going to be faster. So you want to take infinite turns, mill yourself or mill your opponent, and win the game. Now, this is not a very good deck. I'm sure this four card combo could be thrown into a deck. You know, Narset's Reversal, Thassa Deep Dwelling, and Discontinuity are all not awful cards. So maybe if you threw that in a Thassa Flicker deck, uh, then maybe just threw in Shipwreck Dozer, which wouldn't be awful in a Thassa Flicker deck because you can get back your counter spells and all that. Uh, it wouldn't be an awful deck, but here it's just a fun little deck, and I'm playing against, against Sparky to show you it. I also did add black for Grim Tutor and for Fiend Artisan, because Fiend Artisan can go tutor two of our combo pieces. Uh, so you'll see this. Why don't we just jump into the gameplay example? You'll be able to understand it a little bit better. So why don't we jump right into the gameplay? Alrighty, so starting out, you can see here that we, you know, this starting hand, we have two of our four infinite combo pieces, obviously. We have uh, Shipwreck Dozer and Discont Discontinuity. Uh, I don't know. There's different ways you could probably say that. But uh, just note that there are, like different ways that this deck can be built. I built it as a somewhat counter deck that wants to just stall. Um, so here, you know, for me, I only have Discontinuity, two of them, and two Narset's Reversal. Obviously, if you want to throw this into an, a deck legitimately, you probably want four of each, but it's kind of funny that, you know, I end up with Discontinuity and Narset's Reversal before I get Thassa, even though I have four Thassas. Either way, here I end up with Fiend Artisan, which essentially is Thassa, if I can get out another creature. Um, yeah, so I could get out, for instance, Shipwreck Dozer if I manage to get another one and use that to tutor up Thassa. As of now, you know, I'm getting really low on health, which is looking really bad, but at this point, you know, if I can get out a good creature, now here we have Augur of Bolas, it's really good, it lets me look at the top three cards, if I have Discontinuity or Narset's Reversal there, I can get it. I managed to draw from Dreams, which lets me go get two cards, so I end up with uh, Fiend Artisan and Teferi Master of Time, uh, but Augur of Bolas is pretty good, he's a decent blocker, um, and he also can be sacrificed to Fiend Artisan. Now, here it's kind of weird, I end up with two Discontinuity 
continuities, and I could have ended up with a second Narset's Reversal before getting a single Thassa, but either way, I'm able to sacrifice my Fiend Artisan for a Thassa, you know, flicker the Fiend Artisan to get it as a blocker, you know, they boost, of course, their 4-3, but they don't do anything with it, so at this point, I have all of my combo pieces, it's just a matter of getting up to the right amount of mana, and Jace is helping me by letting me draw extra cards, so, you know, we get Shipwreck Dozer down first, which will let me return anything, uh, Drawn from Dreams is probably the right move there, but it's fine. You'll notice here I, I flicker the Dozer uh, and get back on Summon, but then I end up just discarding it. So, like, that wasn't, like, you know, when I'm playing this, I'm playing this kind of, not for the first time exactly, but, you know, it, it's hard to know what you're going to do. Here, I decided to use on Summon to stop him from gaining life. It really didn't matter, but I wanted to waste his mana. Maybe he wouldn't interact with my board, but at this point, right, all I have Thassa, I have the Dowser down, and I think I have enough mana for Discontinuity and Narset's Reversal, so why don't we do this? So we let them untap, we cast Discontinuity, uh, we, you know, you pay for it. I recommend doing this in full control to hold priority, and then you want to do Narset's Reversal. So then, boom, you'll notice we get the prowess triggers, Discontinuity gets a copy, it's back in my hand at this point, and then we get this fancy little animation, and then you click my turn and it becomes my turn again. So they didn't get any of the other phases, they only got to untap. Uh, and so what this allows me to do is I start to mill them, but like I, I realize soon after this that milling myself is going to be faster. Um, of course, milling your opponent is probably a little bit less risky because if they could have killed my Jace instant speed, that could be bad. But, you know, it's fine. I have many Jaces in the deck. Now, here we also have Teferi, which you may seem may seem like a weird include, but he lets you, like, turn through your deck fairly quickly. Uh, and he also lets you mill yourself faster because he will let you draw two cards per turn cycle. And he'll also let you, you know, do other things. But here we go. We, you know, cast Discontinuity, Narset's Reversal you know, we had to flicker the dowser, I don't know if you saw that, but, you know, we flicker it to get back in our set's reversal, and that's it, so then, you know, I, I have to do this many other times, you know, I start milling myself, I pull fast as Oracle, which is nice in case Jace dies, uh, but, you know, end turn, flicker the dowser, get back in our set's reversal, that way when I go to their turn, for discard, you do have to end up discarding, you end up discarding a lot, but either way, uh, you cast discontinuity, duplicate it with Narset's Reversal, and at this point you'll notice I have two mana that I can spend elsewhere if I want to. Uh, I'd like to get up to four to be able to cast Teferi, because he will mill me much faster, and I, I think I found a bug with Teferi, although I'm not sure if we'll see it coming up here soon, but you know, keep flickering, keep returning Narset's Reversal. As infinite combos are, you just keep doing the same thing over and over again. They do get to untap, so if they have some way of drawing cards that does not involve their draw step or main phase or any of that, they could draw cards and then draw a solution. So that is one issue with this compared to my other one. Now, here I end up with four extra mana, and I'm counting and making sure, ooh, can I still do the loop? But I can. So Teferi Master of Time, which will let me draw more cards, you know, do all that. If for some reason they get an attack step somehow, I can these things out, but, uh, draw a card, then discard a card, um, boom, you know, just draw it, discard it, essentially just mill yourself one, and so, yep, I end my turn, go to, you know, second main, I'm just counting to make sure everything is gonna work right, I flicker the dowser, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Now, the reason I've slowed it down, you'll notice that it's been speeding up and slowing down. I slowed it down when we hit the infinite combo for the first part, but you'll notice a weird bug here, right? So I activated Teferi on my turn. On their turn, before they even draw, I can activate Teferi. Cool. So I've activated it once on my turn, once on their turn. Then I, I cast Discontinuity, and then I duplicate it with Narset's Reversal. So, basically, just cast discontinuity. You don't actually have to duplicate it with Narsets, but just, I do that to keep it, obviously. So, cast it, I end the turn, and before, I can click him, I can activate him again on their turn. So, I've now activated it twice on their turn, and I was like, okay, maybe this will count as doing it on my turn, because I technically just ended the turn. I shouldn't have the option to, like, wait. But then also, on my turn, I can activate it. So, now I'm getting to activate Teferi three times per turn cycle, which I don't think is intentional, if anyone knows why this is happening. You know, is it a game rule that I'm not aware of? It's just kind of weird to see that I can activate him three times per turn, and I think it's a bug. 
get, you know, I, I think that's just how MTG Arena is written. It's like, oh, the, the turn's ended, but it's also you have to say yes to go to your turn. So then you can respond to that, which means it's like a new turn, but not, I don't know. Uh, just keep that in mind with Teferi, at least for now. So at this point, I'm really close to milling myself out. You know, if I ultimate Jace, I should be pretty good. So then I can just ultimate Jace, run out of cards, and I win the game. Now, obviously, in if I was playing against a real deck, I would have died a very long time ago. That was way too much stalling. But like I said, if you were going to throw this into an old school Thassa Flicker deck with Agent of Treachery, who obviously isn't legal anymore, but a deck similar to that, you might be able to throw this in as, you know, oh, all of these cards are good on their own, except if I manage to get them all together, I get infinite turns. So... It's an interesting little combo there. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. The, my deck list will be down below. However, I recommend you just build these four cards into any deck. I have another version of the deck that is Simic based. That is more about ramping. And then it also has like Ugin in there as like a secondary game plan. But that deck was only meant to showcase what the combo did. Like how to execute the combo and all of that. Either way, guys, this has been really fun. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.